I recently discovered an AI tool that generates videos from text, like this one. And also generates videos from images, like this one. To use this AI tool, you don't need to download anything to your computer. It is also free to use because they are still in their beta version. And also, it is pretty easy to use. Let me show you. This tool is called Picalabs. And to access, go to pica.art and click on the Join Beta button. This will take you to this page that basically says you've been invited to join Pika. Click Accept Invite. Now you will be inside Discord and you need to answer these questions or simply click Skip. We are now connected to Pika and from here we have access to different channels for us to learn more about Pika. So if you have the time, I do suggest that you go over these options and read those channels. Let's go over the first option that says read instructions in getting started. In here it says that we need to use any of these channels, the generate one up to generate 10 to create our videos. So let's use generate one, why not? We can access this channel from this button or on the left panel under creations. Now, let me show you how to create a video using just a text prompt. And then after this, I will show you how to create a video using just an image like this one. Coming back here to Pika, we are in the generate one channel. And to generate our video, we are going to type in this bar that we see at the bottom of the screen. In here, you'll see a message that tells you the steps that you need to follow. So you need to type slash and then select the create command and then we are going to enter our prompt so let's do it gonna type slash then select create and in here i'm going to start typing my prompt i want to see if pika can create an astronaut walking on the moon and here are a couple of tips that you can use to craft your prompt if you want to influence the outcome it would be a good idea for you to be precise with your prompt in this case i have my astronaut walking on the moon prompt but i'm also going to add the keyword cinematic and now i'm gonna add a parameter to generate the video in the aspect ratio that i want so i'm gonna add dash ar and then 9 colon 16. this is because i want my video to have a vertical format and then i'm gonna hit enter okay my video is being generated and i'm gonna give it a couple of seconds meanwhile i'm gonna share with you some other aspect ratios that you can use on your prompts my video is ready it actually took just a couple of seconds and let's preview it let me go full screen and this is the video that we just generated with a text prompt. Remember that this is just a beta version of Pika. So yeah, I'm surprised that I don't see my astronaut walking on the moon is just rotating <laughs> in space, but that's okay. I have another example that I want to share with you guys. This is a different aspect ratio, a horizontal or landscape mode. And in here we actually see the astronaut moving forward, is not walking, it's kind of sliding, but I guess the outcome can also vary depending on the aspect ratio that you choose. Now, if you want to download your video generation, go over your video and click on the download button. I want to give Pika another chance for it to generate another video with the same prompt. So I'm going to click on this button and as we can see, Pika is now generating another video for me. Okay, the video is ready and I already see that there is something weird with my astronaut arms. So let's take a look at the video. Okay, indeed we have 
three arms but this time we actually see the astronaut walking which is wonderful so as this platform is free i'm gonna give it another go let's click on this button one more time okay i believe this one is not bad it's actually much better than the previous two options i just want to mention that this is me actually trying pika for the first time i did a lot of research yesterday so i had a lot of theoretical knowledge but the practical side of pika is very easy and actually i'm very surprised with these results and i want to know from you what do you think about this platform do you think these videos are useful Useful or not. And remember that this is just the beta version of the platform. I cannot imagine how good this is going to get with time. Remember that it is free to use, so I would suggest that you play around and you try this platform out because it can get to a point where they start charging for the service. Now let me show you how to use an image as a prompt to create a video. Let's go to the message bar below and type slash. From here, instead of selecting create, we are going to select animate. Now we have the option to drag and drop an image or to click here to upload the file. I'm gonna click here and then select the image you want to upload. I have this whale that I created with an AI platform. And then once you have the image uploaded, click here and hit enter. If you want to see where your message is, you can jump to present and try to find your message in here. It will be highlighted, so it's easy to recognize. An easier way to find your message is by clicking on your inbox icon. And as you can see, my image is already converted into a video and I can preview it from here. I can download it or I can jump to the message in the thread. And this is how it looks. I really like this outcome. Let me try another image. Okay, again, going to type slash animate. I'm going to upload a photo in here. This time I'm gonna use this image. As you can see, it has a landscape mode, but I want my video to be squared. This is pretty easy to do and I will show you how to do it. I'm going to select this photo or this image to upload it. And then instead of hitting enter, I'm going to click here where it says plus one more and then select prompt. Remember that if we want to change the aspect ratio of our generation we simply need to type dash AR and then this time because I want my video to be squared I'm gonna type one column one. Hit enter and let's wait for our video to be created. The video is ready and this is what it looks like. Remember that to be able to create this video, we used a landscape mode. And because we were able to add a prompt, we have now a squared video. At the moment, the videos that you create with Pika Labs only last three seconds, but I'm gonna show you a simple trick that you can use to increase the length of these videos. And this trick, I learned it in Tao's YouTube channel. He gives a lot of tips on Mid Journey and also Pika Labs, so I do recommend you go and check his channel out after finishing this tutorial. Now, let's get into the trick. I have this video. As you can see, this video lasts only three seconds. Now what we are going to do is to position ourselves at the end of the video. Hopefully it will be the last frame and then we want to extract the last frame of the video. What I'm going to do is to simply screenshot this area, making sure that we don't see this menu right here. We should only see the frame in the video. So I'm taking the screenshot in here. I know that there are some platforms online that you can use to extract the last frame of the video but in my case I find this way much easier and faster. Now we're coming back to Pika Labs and we are going to use the screenshot that we took or the last frame of our video to generate another video. Instead of using this message 
section instead of coming here and typing slash selecting animate you know we are going to send a private message to pika so we have this creation in a private message so i'm going to the right panel and then find pika if you don't see this list here you're going to click on this icon so at the moment i have my list open so it says hide member list but if you see an empty space and you don't see the list click here show member list find pika right click and then message now we are going to have a private conversation with pika so basically we are going to have direct messages and our creations are not going to get lost in this infinite thread of messages that we saw later on so going to message type slash find animate and in here i'm going to upload the screenshot that we took from the last frame of the video this is the frame open and then hit enter the video is ready let me just double check i want to see that the astronaut is actually walking so yeah this is perfect now i'm going to download this video and this time i'm going to open the original video that we had in here so let me open it i'm using quick time to view the video and then i'm going to edit add clip to end and then i'm going to select the video that we just created with pika labs choose media and now we have the two videos together Gonna click done and my video is now six seconds in this case i use quicktime player because it is already installed in my computer i'm using a mac but you can use any other video editor of your choice to join these two videos together now let me know which of the two features do you prefer the text to video or the image to video to discover more AI tools, watch this playlist right here and to continue learning with us, subscribe to our channel. I think this is it for this video, so I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!